Ooh. Nope. Minus Y. Is that right? <laughs> what? I don't know. So today I'm gonna do something that I never, ever anticipated me doing. Did I say ever? I'm gonna be resitting my GCSE maths paper from 2013. This is the exact paper, it is from November 2013. I sat this paper in November of year 11. I haven't done any math since. I gave it up, I refused to resit it in the June in order to get an A star. I got an A in this paper originally and I just outright refused to resit it because I hated maths. It wasn't for me, it didn't, I wasn't, I didn't enjoy it and I just wanted it gone. And now for some reason it's back. I'm blaming all of this on Harry Surplus. Harry is a study tuber. He does mathsy videos, also some cooking videos. Got really good energy on camera so I would recommend checking his channel out. He's gonna mark this paper for me when it's done. <sighs> I haven't looked back over this, like I haven't looked at it at all, I've just printed it out, it's in front of me, completely unseen, I haven't done any revision because why would I put myself through that? And also I think it will be funny for you if I don't have a clue what's going on. It's the non-calculator paper, it is this paper. Now I was going to wear makeup for this video, just to make myself feel a bit better, but then I thought, no, what if I cry? I'm not gonna cry. It's all a bit fun. So I've got all of my equipment. It says I needed a ruler, pen, HP pencil, a pair of compasses. I don't think I've ever called it a pair of compasses ever. And also a protractor. Now I actually found my protractor from year seven. It says seven Z and Rosie. Now these say Oxford on, which is like a creepy little bit of foreshadowing. Though at the time, I just thought the dictionary company had branched out into stationery, so we had no idea what Oxford was back then. And look where it got us. Hell no. Oh, I've also got some tracing paper if I need it, but I'm not really expecting to. <laughs> I've forgotten why I would need tracing paper. Right, I'm gonna set one hour 45 on here. 60 plus 45 is not 85. Oh my word. Off to a great start here, guys. Are we ready? I don't know why I'm asking you. I'm not ready. Three, two, one. Turn over your paper. First question. We're off to a good start now. I don't remember this at all. Here is a triangular prism. I do like a triangular prism. Oh, I've just spotted the algebra. I remember. It's all flooding back. Right, I've got my shape. By the vector minus three, two. Oh, Jesus. I'm honestly just making this up. Nope. Oh, you idiot. I can't trace it. Describe. F I actually remember this question. Describe fully the single transformation that maps shape Q onto shape R. Wait, it's down vertical first. Vertical. F no, because you go along the corridor before you go up the stairs, and the plane goes on the runway before it takes off. Which means I've done this one wrong as well. If it was right the first time, I'm gonna be fuming. Oh god. By Victor. <sighs> I fully don't know what is going on here. Rita is going to make some cheeseburgers for her party. That's quite nice, isn't it? Look at the state of this. Disgusting! I'm not happy with that. The length of side AB is 3x minus 5. Can't it just be a number? Well, you add them up because it's perimeter. But do we know what x is? No. 
So how can we say how many centimetres it is? This is what I don't understand about maths. Oh, you just tie them together, don't you? Genuinely no idea if that's what I want you to do. What? Letters don't belong in maths. No, thank you. No, they don't. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I don't know how to do it. Well, we've got plus five, okay. Um, seven X's. We've got seven X's. No, we haven't. We've got five X's, four Y's. <laughs> Can I have a tissue, please? <laughs> oh, remember when they just wouldn't come. That's what she said! Honestly? <laughs> I have no idea. No, that's not right. Oh, it's a quad... It's quadratic. These belong on the list of things that should be illegal. Three times? Do you <laughs> Minus Y? Is that right? Oh, the little bit. <laughs> this is making me feel real smart. Apart from the fact that it's an exam designed for 15 year olds. Julia is investigating how much exercise people do in a week. She uses these two questions in a questionnaire. Which way round is greater than and less than with the crocodile claws? Mal. Cro oh. The crocodile eats the small. Questions labelled with an asterisk are ones where the quality of written communication will be assessed. I remember this. Oh, that's 12 times 10. It's 120. So he needs 12. Ow. <laughs> he needs 10 tins of paint. So he's buying 10 and there's a discount of 30% off the polish. What's 30% of 190? He ain't got enough money. Well, that took ages. He's got an hour left. Can I phone a friend? Wait a second. I'm not even drawn the right by the graph. Yeah, you can do it. You go, girl. Is two. <gasps> yes, it's making a straight line. Look at this graph. The reciprocal of five. What is a reciprocal? Oh, is it a fraction? My hair is hurting. I don't know what it's asking me to do. Okay. Three to the power of minus two. Two. So is it minus nine? This whole paper is guesses. How would you do a simultaneous equation? No, thank you. Do you know what? I might just skip it. Who writes these questions? Shit. This is just getting hard now. It's making me feel like an idiot. <sighs> oh, does this want me to draw one of them tree things? And um, probability trees. I can't remember I do it, but I think that's what it wants. A probability tree. Ha! It's a pity I don't have a clue how to do it now, isn't it? The last question, apart from the ones that I didn't bother and need to go back to, but what? I actually have vivid memories of not even attempting this question in in the actual exam. It's this one. D is the such. It is what? Write an expression. Sad. Does a sad face count? It's not gonna happen. We add them together. I <sighs> the worst thing about this question is I know how it's meant to end up. Well, that's rude. How am I supposed to concentrate? Well, that was a disaster. I can't say I'm particularly optimistic about my grade on this paper, but I also didn't do quite as badly as I expected. I knew I was going to do terribly on the algebra because I didn't get it at the time and it took so much practice to be able to do it in my exam. And obviously I've not had any practice or even looked at how to do it since I had this exam, so that's not a surprise at all. 
I'm gonna scan all of this in now and send it to Harry Surplus. Who's gonna mark it? He will be marking it in his video. So if you want to find out what I got on every single question, then head over to his channel. I will hand you over now to Harry who's gonna reveal my score. Over to you, Harry. Okay, it's now time to add up all of Rosie's scores and see how well she did. I actually, when I was marking this, thinking this is going well, even I had to sort of think about how to do the question from not doing GCSEs since 2018. And Rosie's not done hers since 2013. So uh, I think she's done pretty well. I'll be with you when I've added it all up. All right, I've added all the scores up and I'm going to go to the front of the paper and in this little total mark section here, I'm going to add the score. You ready? 59. That's really, really good. The paper is out of 100. So just over half marks, it's 59%. That is a really, really good score to think Rosie's not done math since 2013. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the grade boundaries and see what grade that would be. I think it's going to be a B. It is. She passed. That's amazing. Well done, Rosie. Am I tough enough? Are tough enough? Hell yes, I'm tough enough. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. You could also give me a thumbs up if you want me to take any of my other GCSE or A-level exams because, you know, why would I not want to do that? Subscribe to my channel and to Harry Surplus' channel if you don't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!